Hi Aquarius, <laughs> welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. How are you? <laughs> Feeling fresh? Feeling fresh? <laughs> of course, you know, we gotta feel fresh, Aqua. But what is fresh is our <laughs> holiday rising star box. Star, it's a box. So <laughs> I cannot not, not connect those two. But remember, I do have goddess box and high priestess, and this one now is finally out. So I'm gonna put it in the comments. Okay. So each each um there's a theme. Actually, this is your card. Oh yeah, this is star card. Yeah. So goddess, empress, and then we have high priestess. And then actually this is your card. I forgot. <laughs> oh okay. well, it is available now, Aqua. It's in the comments and it's a limited edition. So um grab yours now before I grab mine. <laughs> it is your card, I forgot. Oh my now let's see what's going on with your tarot, okay? So I'll take a minute. Um, you know, it's like I like to to come there, to go come there, to go there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's just give me a minute here. Let's get settled. Okay, we're gonna use two tarot cards over here. Hierophant with the hangman, a delay in business, a delay in relationship. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. Okay. I like to relax before I go to a read so that I really, really make sure that it's my 100. Okay. Uh, there are times where I, you know, like before I just roll and make the read and I look like a bum, a gorgeous bum. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Okay, it's ready. I feel aqua, king of wands. All right. First card is always strongest, the passion, the desire. The king that is quite good looking, right? The most handsome, you know, I cannot say the dead, the de because it's it's not. <laughs> um, if this is your card, let me see what's going on. Of course, this is an Aries or a, um, I call it the Aries card because it's red, but so of course it can be Leo at the same time. Mm. I feel like you're distancing yourself. There is a level of I'm mad, I'm upset. And I don't want to, it's just ignoring. You're just ignoring. Okay, so nothing serious. You just know like you love them, you hate them. Kind of like everything is up in the air. But I'm hearing right now you're whispering to me, you know, or whatever is whispering. It's like if you only know what this person did, Sal, that's the reason why I love them and I hate them. But right now it's on the hate side. Okay, too strong. Okay. Ace of Swords. Okay. So Aqua, let's talk about this person that you're denying communication because they're denying communication to you. Mm -hmm. Now it feels like, because the fist is so strong over here. They're tr saying here, I am making a stand, a, not a fruit stand. <laughs> I am, I will not. Okay, so resistance. I mean, the the hand, I just feel like it's very, very um, stern and, you know, like make, like they're upset also because I look at your hand over there, but you just like, hmm, my face is going on that side. And there it's like, no, I don't even want to see the aqua. Mm -hmm. So refusing to connect. And the Ace of Swords is thoughts, you know, swords are thoughts process so they probably want they have this idea that they don't want to share it with you because they feel like you're not going to be working it with them okay but i mean like this card is fine yeah you got a sun card mm -hmm. that's good now having the sun card is only means that you you could probably want to have a baby you want to go on vacation you need to explore the world. You need to heal yourself. The sun is very positive. It's in your side. So it's a yes if you have a question. The sun is also, um, how to say this? Because uh, this is Leo now, right? And it's, that's your seventh house. And it feels like you are, you're very drawn to To this person's energy, I feel like they're very childish. They're very, you know, they mimic you. They they have this immature energy, but it's something that you like, 
and something that you hate. The way that they joke, the way that they communicate. Like this person is all over, but it it's what makes this person different from everybody. And they're not scared of you. Okay. I mean, why would you be scared of a... Of, I don't know. <laughs> is it Halloween? Mm -hmm. Is it spooky? Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so hands is tied. They're all about work and career. That's the Eight of Pentacles. Yes. Um, it looks like their motivation right now is to keep themselves busy so they don't have to think about you. Um, to keep their hands occupied so that they don't have to text you or call you. I sense a lot of positivity in your energy. Like, huh, they will text, they will call, they will reach out. You know, it's actually not, I'm not worried about this right now. It just feels like you guys needed some time out. Okay. Time out. You know, time out. You know what I need? Someone like... You know, uh, how to say this? Someone who can make me retire from <laughs> reading tarot. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> so here we go. Because I got the merch, it's so busy. Oh my God, it's just busy. Good busy though. Very, very good busy. Queen of Wands. Okay. Is it? Yes. Okay. With the king. And then you get Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like you're trying to show this person that you are, you know, let's just say you're feminine energy. It's just like, I got my needs. Uh, I may be strong, a king of wands over there. Um, but I deserve some warmth, you know. I want to be treated like a lady. Uh -huh. Lady meaning it's, you know, whatever comfort that you need. You want some loving. You know? I want them to be more sensitive. Because, um, you know, they haven't been really putting effort in the relationship, to be honest. The Eight of Pentacles... Uh, they probably always sense like I got busy, I'm work, I'm sorry I wasn't able to text you, call you, because they're, you know, one, they're resisting, okay? So, if ever that you get a message from that, they were just resi they're resisting already. Okay, I see you. I see skies are blue. Hangman still, mm-hmm. Alright. So, delay. Um, possible, like, they ask, like, I need to think about this. You know, the hangman is always about... Enlightenment and uh, and this person's like I need I need my I need to air things out with you you know I feel tired I feel suffocated I feel like you're trying to do a one up on me that's I mean this is what I see with this with their energy okay and like what I always you know I always say it's like my cross watchers are not welcome because this is an aqua side so I would talk right in my magical guides and I would say is this aqua yes so are are they allowed to switch no. So I, should they move on? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's a message. If you're a cross-watcher trying to switch it, okay, it doesn't apply to you. Okay. So go get your own guides and your own tarot. Um, with the hangman over here, they're, they're saying here, your person is saying that um, they have to compromise so much just so that they can make you happy. Get the sun card. You're asking a lot of them where they don't have much. Yeah. Because, again, I feel like their priority is really to build a name for themselves. You know, they want to travel, Ace of Swords. They feel like relationship does tie them down. And this is where you guys have, a, you know, some sort of differences. Yeah. The lovers. Mm hmm That's good. Love them, hate them. Of course, the lovers is temptation. You have snake there, okay? There's two ways of looking at the lovers here. Love, which is love, right? And there's also the the, fem the female energy there is being tempted. Well, the masculine is so tempted already. Because the... Did you see where, if you're particular with it, where she's looking? She's looking in the heavens, so she's looking for a heavenly connection while the other person is looking for physical connection. Let's get physical, physical. So this person has the hearts for you. You have the hearts for them, but you want it to change. And that's where it's like, uh, uh, 
Because they don't, they don't, they, I think they don't want to think about it right now. Yeah, seven of cups. Because it confuses you. It's like, are we just a thing? Do we have a thing? Am I even a thing to you? You know, who am I? You know, seven of cups. You're in a very confused state right now. And you're trying your best, okay, to understand this. Right? Mm, trying your best. You got the five of wands on their end. You got the hierophant. So commitment for them is so complicated. This is what this person is saying. I have to do this. I have to do that. Uh, this and that. See, this is how they how they view it. They really see relationship as a struggle. And, you know, if they're already struggling with work or they have a lot of things going on there, then it's going to add to their life. So in their end, is relationship really something that they would like right now? I don't know. But the Five of Wands is resisting to make a decision out of love. The Hierophant is about the truth and revelation, can be a Therian. Now, the, the Hierophant is also structure. So they're thinking right now, if they compromise, what kind of agreement are you guys going to have? Is it like exclusive? Are we moving in together? Um, this person is smart, just to be honest. Um, this person sees the logic in this relationship while you are finding it this is illogical we're keep going round in circles here to be honest this is what doc was saying we're going in circles so you can read the whole card so and i'm telling you so this has been an ongoing situation that's why i don't understand anymore seven of cups right yeah they're smart so yeah they you know they got they got job they got work they got business they got goals so Let's see, Eight of Pentacles also trying to come out again. What's coming in between the two of you? If I see, I have to say. Mm -hmm. So these are in between cards. Okay. So what's coming in between the two of you is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Now, this only means that work, responsibility, their career, their job, their time, their business, it's really what is um, a big factor here. A big factor. Okay. I got nervous because someone was... Okay, next time. Shush. Aqua. There's always someone at the door with you. Okay. Remember when we did your January prediction and then I did predict the, you know, the one that passed away. Um, you know, but I don't predict death. But the bird that flew in the window. Now, someone was there again. Okay. I just don't want to name names, but the name was given in that prediction, if you remember that, right? And it's just like, bye, and then the bird died. Four of Swords. Uh -huh. What's coming in between the two of you is they need some time to think about what they want to do in their life. Four of Swords. You know, like they're looking at their whole, that what did they do their whole time? For example, this whole year. What has happened in their life? You know, what has happened in their life? Empress, you want to have a family. You want a relationship. You see yourself as the empress, meaning you have a lot to give. Abundant life, you know. You care, you love, you nurture. You know, you're gorgeous, you're handsome, you're good looking. You're a whole package over there. Mm. Ten of Cups, you know. You want to have a family. You got, you want, you know, you want to be together with this person, period, Sal. While, while this person is holding back, you know, for their dear might, four of pentacles, um, you know, they're holding back communication, they're resisting to move, they won't budge, they're keeping their feelings now to themselves, they're on a shutdown with the four of swords and the four of pentacles. The two of you need to work this out, okay? You got two sun cards. Now, since it's in the tiny card on their end, I call this, you know, the in-between cards as something that is um, underlying from the two of you that you guys just don't communicate, you don't express it. You know, on their end, this is a small, tiny sun. So they don't express how much you mean to them. And that's probably what you're saying. It's like, you just have to say that, you know, um, how much you mean to them. Okay. Three of Cups. The Seven of Swords. So there's a lot of things that this person is living in denial. Um, and they're not from Egypt. Denial. Okay. Um, 
One is they're denying you of movement, which causes a lot of problem, five of wands. Uh, they're refusing to make a decision about love and about the relationship. And you here are starting to wonder then, is there someone else? Are they cheating? Are they seeing someone? Because if they're not committed to me, I mean, I just know, I need to know, it's like, are you committed to me? Do we have a thing or is it just a thing? Do we have a thing or it's just a thing? The lovers and the hereford. So you want a lot, you know, there's a lot of clarifying that you want here, okay? So, um, Gemini got there, Leo, Taurus, Libra, Leo over there, Taurus over there, you know? Gemini over there, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio, okay? So, Aquarians, this is your December. It's the end of the year. I will see you guys again on January 2021. Things will be different then. Okay, but make sure you guys get your own star because this is actually dedicated to your zodiac because it's a star card, um, to your own tarot card also. That's you, basically. So check it out in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to our Eat, Read, Love app because um, there will be um, astrology and tarot information. It's going to be placed there pretty soon. We're just in the middle of developing it. So make sure you download their app. It's available in Android and Apple and it's totally free, totally free. 100% free, nothing you need to do. Just download it and then just turn on the notification. All right, Aqua, I love your energy. It's pretty It's pretty sunny. It's pretty sunny. So we'll see on the other side how, it, uh, how, we, how we resolve it. Okay, I'll see you guys again. Bye.